You probably know a guy called Joshua Wiseman. What you probably don't know is that I am his papa. Every time he says papa, yeah, this guy. He's talking about this guy. Gyros, Greek gyros. These are my favorite food in the world and it was gonna be my first cooking video thing. Quite angry. Six days ago, this guy stole my thunder. But you know what, it's all right. One of us is a cook and one of us isn't, so these two videos should be quite different. You're probably wondering about what this, this outfit is. Um, the smart ones among you, though, will know that I am dressed like a Greek flag, and uh, so, is my, so is my cloth. Everyone's always really quick to, you know, just label gyros and, and wraps and donairs as this kind of late night drunk food. I say nonsense. I don't think you need to eat it at, uh, at ungodly hours. I've been eating this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, for a week straight. Ooh, my mother. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I really wish that was a lie, but it's not. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do, this is probably something you'd want to do the day before. We're gonna make the sauce, the tzatziki. I like to take a cucumber, rinse your cucumbers. I don't really know how to make cooking videos, if you haven't noticed, so I'm just making my dinner and walking you guys through it. Carefully chop your cucumber. Once you've got your cucumbers all nice and thinly chopped into these lanyards, chop them roughly into these little squares. Carefully put all the cucumber, roughly two handfuls of, of cucumber bits, if Greek, yogurt. Just spoon that in there. I like to use this really high fat. This is like an 11% Greek yogurt. So much more flavor and it holds together so much more nicely. Might not be entirely traditional, but that's just the way I like to do it. Want to add some garlic, probably uh, one clove to this amount. This is very imprecise. You can just eyeball all of this. Squeeze that all in there. A little bit of olive oil. I find that it rounds out the kind of sharp taste of the yogurt a little bit. You know, it gives it that smooth, rich taste. Very important, you can't forget your lemon. This is gonna make a huge difference. It's your acid to the tzatziki, and it brightens up the whole thing so much. Put a pinch of salt in there as well. I like making this first because it's nice to give it a bit of time to sit, to let that garlic kind of seep into and integrate into your sauce, you know, rather than just having that sharp, raw garlic taste. And I like to put a little plate on it, and then I stick that in the fridge. You could leave it overnight. There's something magical about that spit roasted pork and chicken meat mix that they often have on those giant kebabs dripping with fat and spices. And obviously that's amazing, but realistically most days when I come home from school, I don't have the time nor the machinery to launch such a giant operation. So I found that something that works really well is you just get a cut of pork or chicken, whatever you prefer, uh, something that has a lot of fat in it is pretty good and you're gonna have a bit more flavor. So give it a good salt and kind of let it sit for a second. Take our pan and we are going to make it quite hot. You don't need much uh, oil in your pan or butter. You, you could put either, but really if you're using a fatty cut of meat, the fat's just all gonna melt and render out and give it that great taste anyways. So importantly, once you put your meat in, you kind of just want to let it sit for a while. That's gonna really help it get that nice brown crust where so much of the flavor lives. If you're moving it around constantly, it's gonna be really hard for that crust to form. I, m I may have just bought this induction stove top from Walmart, it's possible. Ah, music to my ears. And now's a good time as well to uh, start your bread, to start warming it up slowly. So I find that a good way uh, that works well with these non breads is you put them in a pan uh, so I've got another pan over there, and you slowly start to heat them up. Uh, that's gonna make them all soft and pliable, and then eventually you wanna get just a slight crust forming on them. Oh, the fire alarm is gonna go. I might have to start the fan. No! Shoot. Okay, I'm moving this. And I don't have fan to suck it away from over this induction thing, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that back there, let me, uh, let me show you what it looks like. Hopefully we've got a nice crust. Look at that. That color, that's amazing. That is where so much of the flavor is gonna come from um, when we then go and chop this up super thin. And a lot of the fat has been rendered out and there's lots of great color in the pan as well. I'm just gonna turn that off and move that away now. 
you don't have to worry too, too much about how done it actually is because the next step is gonna be cutting it up into these really thin strips and actually tossing those back into all that brown, uh, flavorful, you know, all the bits that we have in the pan and deglazing it with a bit of lemon to really bring all the flavor uh, up and uh, together. So grab yourself one of your naan, grab some of the strips, got that beautiful crust that's all been deglazed with the lemon juice. It's, it's really, really delicious. Line it with some cucumber as well. Just adds that little fresh twist, the tzatziki. Gonna want to spoon that. But that's the simple version of it. I've been experimenting with putting a little bit of uh, more fresh vegetables in. Cherry tomatoes, cut a few of them up. Bit of cucumber as well. This is something fun. Pickled red onion, super easy to make yourself. Uh, has a nice little crunch as well. Again, not traditional, but I find that it tastes delicious. I like putting some fresh baby arugula. So, the standard easy one to make. Presentation doesn't look nearly as nice as my son Joshua Wiseman, but I guarantee you that it tastes good. I hope you enjoyed this uh, special episode of food where we made the food. Uh, if you want to see if there are any recipes that you'd like to see a worse version of, please let me know. I can absolutely do that for you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and see you soon. It's so delicious. I, <laughs> I like to eat my first one over the second one so the juices get all, all get caught. Big brain plays right there.